These cattle all bedded up. They're doing absolutely cracking. Really happy with how these cattle are coming along. Even the wee one, this calf in the corner, it was bottle fed because its mother had yonis, so she had to go. And it was always a thin, narrow, scrawny thing, but it's actually started to fill out now. She's just getting on fine now. Hey, beast. I mean, look at the size difference. <laughs> Good morning, lad. Big Mike. The silage there for him. He's not eating a whole lot of silage. Off the yard, one we go. Fish delivery for the farm shop. The butchery in the farm shop. Spread more dung today, and also I'm trying to fiddle out, fiddle about. I've got a wee microphone. This is a receiver. That's a mic. Oh, what, is this on or not? I'm never sure. I'm trying to figure out how this fucking thing works. We'll turn it off for now. I'm trying to figure out audio for something else that's coming up. I'm not going to use this regularly, but I've got something coming up this Saturday that I need a microphone for. Just pushing this pile up or away a bit because Kev's up here already. I've got the dung spreader full. Once I've emptied the dung spreader, I'll get fired into this heap and get ahead of Kev so this is out his road. I was meant to tell you what we put a deposit down on because the video that I said if it gets 2,000 likes, I'll tell you what we put the deposit down on. So, But before that, I'll give you a few clues and you can try and figure it out before you get there. First clue, it's orange. Okay, I think I've got this whole mic thing working. Let's just try. Is it working? I bloody hope so. Can you hear me? Who knows? Anyway, we'll get this loaded up. So this heap that I'm just pulling out of right now, it's pure cattle dung, so it's not got hen pen in it. So it's lower nitrogen content. So I'll put this on at a bit of a thicker rate than what I've been putting on the hen pen. So if you remember a few months ago, we swapped these tires on the forklift here from Agri tires, which were pretty bald and slick, to these more industrial type. And the downside of these is they lose a bit of grip in situations like this. You can decide for yourself how bad it is. For me, I've not lost too much traction compared to an Agri tire. Right, we're off. First load. Dad's appeared, he's gonna come and load me. Hopefully we'll get ahead now. So there you go, that's how it works. See those chains, they draw the bars along the bed of the trailer, or the hopper right to the end there where the beaters are on the other side of that hydraulic door. So these are the rotors or the beaters on the back here, and they rotate. Oh, this rotates in that direction. That one rotates in that direction draw it out the middle, fire it out that way, fire it out that way, and fire it out this way. Spreads it across the field. This is a higher end dung spreader. The amount of dung we have to spread it. Can we justify a machine like that? Not cheap pieces of kit either. Now we're in a race with Kev. Plough's been doing wonders. It's a wee bit cheesy in this field. Charlie, heavier. You can see it all shiny down there. That's quite an indication of heavier ground. We've got a bit of earth down here to level off, so Kev's made a scratch and made an end rig that's massive, so that there's a lot of room to deal with all that, and we'll get round to that eventually. Mind the not ping a stone at the fin. That'd be an expensive stone. Another wee downside to these tyres, because they're quite modular, they don't self-clean very well. Build them up with muck like that and then you head into the yard, you make a right mess. Whereas tires like these, how the mold is situated, they're quite good at self-cleaning. The soil likes to run off them and the tire likes to clean itself. So naturally you don't get as much soil build up and muck build up on a tire like that than you do a tire like those.
Oh, I've got to go and pick that up from the smithy actually. The one I've made, the stone grape. It's almost there. A few more things to do to it and it needs painted. It's a bit firmer soil down here. A bit chucker in this field anyway. And even worse as you get down the bottom. But that's the shiny bit I was pointing out when it creates a flat surface like that because it's not broken apart. It is to be cool and maybe frosty over the next few days. So that'll help break it down. The freeze thaw, those clumps freeze, they expand when they melt, they contract and that movement breaks it down further. Anyway, let's keep going. I think I'm right in saying water is one of the only liquids that when it changes state into a solid, it increases in volume. And that is why icebergs occur because the ice is a larger volume for the same density so it floats in water that's disappeared again i'm in the hot seat now another load GoPro's buried again. It's going to be stinking for weeks. Tell you what, other than getting ran over by a combine, these are pretty bomb proof things, these GoPros. I have used and abused this, and to be honest, it stood up pretty well. The only thing I need to be wary about is grinding or welding in the workshop with this nearby. I usually put a bit of perspex in front of it because that the sparks land on the screen and melt bits of the screen. I just put this wee mount on it and JB welded a magnet to the bottom of it. It's a big good strong magnet that and it just because everything on the farm is metal isn't it? Bosh. Doesn't move. I could load lorries with a forklift bucket and I'm not worried that falls off. It's bomb proof. We'll put it on here see if it survives. This is the true test. Put it on the back door here so I'll turn it on. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure this time I lift the back door then put the rotors on. Smart guy. We are about to find out if the GoPro's still here. Oh, please. Hey! How manky is it? Whoa, lovely. Ah. <laughs> My plan um, didn't really work. See this telegraph pole? See how it's slight angle that way? I can't remember exactly how long ago, but it was probably at least 10 years. I'd be maybe 15, 16. Reversed a forklift into it. I was rolling out some turnip nets, so nets that go on the top of turnips. I was rolling one of them out because it was all wonky and whatnot. And rolling, rolling, rolling. Thud. Second half of that video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you're not, please subscribe. We're going for 14,000 next. Much appreciated if you do and like the video. See you tomorrow.